Whoa. Uh, Brandon over there at Langley Outdoors just posted this. And I'm passing it on so that others will know. Because not everybody watches the same channels as everybody else. So, here. You wonder what's been holding up the ammo? This might be a culprit. Okay, this is a round from the Lake City Army Ammunition Plant, Missouri. And then they're going to show the LC at the bottom. But the bottom of the casing are the factor's initials, a popular marking with gun enthusiasts. Yeah, Lake City is an Army site that has applied to U.S. military since World War II. They make great stuff, people. But as military demand slowed, billions of rounds have been sold commercially. You see where they're going with this? We traced Lake City rounds to crime scenes. Oh, no. For instance, 84 Lake City rounds were fired at the Parkland School shooting. <laughs> Army ammunition plant is tied to mass shootings across the USA. I got to back that up. It's just, uh... oh, yeah. You see where they're going with this? Instead of blaming guns, now they're blaming ammunition, and instead of getting to the real crust of the thing, it was a person that squeezed the trigger. Doesn't matter where he bought it or what kind of ammo he used, it's still the same thing. The person squeezing the trigger. Now, that'd be like them trying to blame the ammo it's like, um, well, okay, somebody used a tire, tire iron from um, Subaru, so we got to ban all them uh, tire irons. Or we got to get them from uh, uh, Chevrolet and Ford and uh, Chrysler. You name it. Or, better yet, let's say that somebody uses a bunch of gas from the Shell station. And he uses it to put it into a bottle and stick a rag at the top and light it and burn down people's houses with people in it. Do they, they, do they blame the tire iron? Do they blame the gas company? Blame the person who committed the crime. Everybody knows that there's a lot of drugs coming in this country. We also know that the CIA gets a, makes some money off of this stuff. Are you going after the CIA for all this fentanyl and stuff coming into the country? No. Are you going after Biden because of his uh, border policies? No. You blame everything else but the damn person doing it. These people get on drugs, they shoot people up, and you're still blaming the wrong culprit. This site was built for the military, but commercial sales are booming with little public accountability. It's none of their fucking, excuse me, business. Rounds have been bought by murderers, anti-government groups, and others. No, don't say it. Oh, Jesus. Recent years, the factors also pump boons around of military-grade ammunition to the commercial market. An investigation by the New York Times found leaving the LC signature scattered across crime scenes, including the sites of some of the nation's most horrendous mass shootings. Ah. Oh. Let's see here some people earning a living in Lake City. Here you go, you got Lake City Army Ammunition Plant headquarters. Building number five. And it pisses me off that they're not going after the people who are squeezing the damn trigger and create, creating all the problems. The Defense Department argues that the public and private partnership is necessary for national security. Correct. I know I'm scrolling down here pretty fast, people.
It doesn't make you feel good, guys, watching this. I mean, I like to see this automation stuff working, you know. Okay, let's get down here. Um, so anyway, it seems to be the problem what's holding up our ammo getting to our public. Is the New York Times and their um, morals that are only good for them, but uh, not for you. Anyway, I'm gonna put. I'll put a link to this. Thank, thank God for that guy, that Brandon over at Langley Outdoors. He posted this this morning. I just found it. Uh, I was sitting here waiting for my propane to show up today, and it finally showed up. So things are good. Um, I think people, if you want to get hold of some people that you want to complain about, you get hold of the New York Times. Tell them what you think about their newspaper. Is their their uh, propaganda newspaper and their uh, so-called uh, journalist point the figure at everybody except except the culprit like I said I'll get back up here to the beginning here I want to make sure we get the New York Times uh, in there I'll put a link to this. You guys go read this yourself. Look at it. Now you understand what's going on. We got so many communist people in this country working against us. It's unreal. It is. And the thing is, we got military protecting people like the New York Times and Biden's uh, communist people and his administration and, and Barack Obama. It's a sad, sad day when we've let them people in the colleges uh, mess with kids' minds to the point that um, they think communism and socialism is good. Okay, enough of my ramblings. This will give you an idea of what's going on. And, thank, and I'll put a link to this guy's channel, uh, this Langley Outdoors. Hang on a second, people. He said, the leftists just let the cat out of the bag. New York Times directly attacks Lake City ammunition. It's the ammo. Hang on, people. This guy was good enough to put this up there. I think he's good enough to be on my video. pretty bad to let this country to go downhill so bad that any nitwit out there who's a good commie can put this kind of stuff into a newspaper or, or out in a thing to uh, stir up chaos and trouble and shut down uh, honest, honest businesses. Thanks for watching.